everyone. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Gemma from Minerva, and I'm here today to share the wide range of beautiful satin fabrics we offer at Minerva. Every fabric I will mention in this video can be found on our lovely website, Minerva.com, and I have tagged all of them below for your easy access as well. If you like what you see today, please click the follow button above for more videos and contents like this. For today's video, we'll cover 30 gorgeous satin fabrics. I will first give a brief overview on satin, followed by 6 silk satin fabrics and 24 satin fabrics made of polyester. Within these 24, I will start with the more classic polyester satin, followed by um, crepe back satin, duchess satin, charmeuse, and last definitely not least, some really fun and unique satin fabrics that we offer. So if you're really interested in one of these categories, feel free to just go right ahead, jump to that section of this video. As one of the most beloved fabrics, satin is now used everywhere, from the classic evening gowns, dresses, shirts, ties, lingerie, beddings, and so much more. However, under the big satin umbrella, there really is a wide variety. One of the biggest differences among satin fabrics is the fiber composition. This is also a main cause for the wide price differentiation among satin fabrics. You might see satin sold for only a few pounds a meter or even a hundred pounds a meter or more. So it's really important to look at the product information to see what fiber the fabric is made of. The vast majority of satin fabrics on the market nowadays are made of polyester, which is industrially mass-produced, therefore a lot more affordable. However, there is no question that satin fabrics made of silk are of much higher quality. Silk is a natural fiber. It's generally smoother and softer on the skin and a lot more breathable. And the natural moist wicking property of silk also keeps your skin at the right humidity. Let's dig in now to look at the six silk satin fabrics that we have today. Since we're talking about silk satin fabrics, of course, we have to mention Liberty, Liberty London. As you may know, is super famous for its high quality silk fabrics and beautiful prints. So today we're going to show you four variations, four different prints and colors of the Liberty London Belgravia silk satin line. So this line, the Belgravia Silk Satin, is a very fluid, reflective 16 mom fabric. Uh, by 16 mom, it, you know, it is just saying that it is relative, it's a relatively high on the mom count, which means that it is a higher density and higher quality fabric. All right, let's start with this fabric in the color Kingfisher. The color is just so breathtaking. I find it so regal. So I had to put this one as the first one to show you guys. Look at this lustrous drape, the high shine and fluidity. The color is just so saturated and so intense. I think you can construct it into beautiful evening wears or a more opulent daytime wear, for example, a um, luxurious wrap dress or a very flowy blouse. As a suggestion, you can try out the pattern by New Look for a blouse, number 6582, which I will link below. Besides Kingfisher, there's also a wide range of colors along this line that you can check out as well. 
Let's look at our next fabric here, the Liberty London Belgravia Silk Satin Line as well. The name of the print is Prospect Road. It is such a cool design. This to me is modern art on fabric. You'll see why it's called Prospect Road as well. You see the, the motifs of tree, sky, cloud, lake, river, and this really beautiful combination of colors as well. Really creative and whimsical. I think it'll look really amazing on a summer blouse, maybe just spaghetti strap top to add that pop of color to your outfit. And I think it's also really perfect when you're looking for something that is really fun, yet still beautiful and elegant. This print is available in two other colors on our website, and I will link this fabric below for you, so you can also easily find the other two colors from there. This next print in Liberty London's Belgravia Silk Satin line is called Elysian Day. What a beautiful, perfect name for this gorgeous, floral, colorful print. Look at all these amazing details of chrysanthemum and so many beautiful flowers, which I think contrast really well of a black background and it shines so beautifully. Look at the sheen of the light on all these colors. The color combination is just perfect. All the printing and finishing of Liberty London Belgravia silk satin takes place in Lake Como in Italy. And you can always find the name of your print along the salvage line. As well as you can see here, Elysian Day, just beautiful. This print is also available in two other colors as well. The last print I will show you today from the Liberty London Belgravia Silk Satin line is this print called Carleen Rose. I think this is such a romantic print. The roses are so pretty and they're so realistic looking. It feels like they're jumping out of the fabric for me. And I also love the color contrast here. As you can maybe already see from the roll edges, silk satin fabrics can fray quite easily. So you really want to finish the roll edges before you sew your pieces together to prevent further fraying and twisting of the fabric. You may also want to use smaller size sewing needles for such a thin and delicate and very expensive fabric to keep the holes small. And just in case you have to redo some of your stitches, it's really important to keep your needles small as well for silk satin fabric. The next fabric we have here is the John Caldor Blossom Fabric, which is made of 60% silk and 40% rayon. Rayon is a very versatile fiber and is often referred to as artificial silk because it has so many characteristics of silk fiber. And that's why I wanted to show you this fabric right after the Liberty 100% silk satin fabric as a comparison. Overall, I would say that this fabric feels close enough to the Liberty fabrics. It is very lightweight as well. It's very soft. It has this wonderful drape and beautiful sheen to it under the light. So I think you know, it is close enough and it is more affordable. So if that's what you're looking for, um, I think you can give it a try for sure, especially if you're looking for something a little bit different in terms of print. If you look at this print, you can immediately tell the difference, right, from the Liberty print. It's much more airy. It, it's a little bit um, less heavy on the outline of the shapes. Overall, it feels more breezy. Um, I think it looks effortlessly elegant. And just like the Liberty London silk satin fabrics, this would be ideal for sewing into tops, blouses, dresses, skirts, and so much more. So for our last fabric in our silk satin category is an absolute royalty. Let's take a look at the Empress silk satin. 
First of all, I love the name. Why Empress, not Queen? You may ask. Well, my interpretation is that this is to pay tribute to the Empress Xilin Shi, who, according to legends, discovered the silk making process and also invented the silk loom in 27th century BC. With this kind of name, I think we're left with no doubt about the highest quality of this 100% silk satin fabric. It has a wonderful and luxurious finish and handle. It would be perfect to be to make the centerpiece, a statement piece for any wedding or a very special occasion. A big difference between this fabric and the previous 100% silk fabric that we have seen so far, you can probably see already as well. This is a lot, a lot heavier. This is still categorized as medium weight uh, compared to other fabrics, but among silk fabric, this is pretty heavy. So as you might guess from that, this is you know on the higher end in terms of our price range for silk. I think it's quite justifiable um, given the amount of sheer silk that has to go into this heavier weight, 100% silk satin material. So in my hand, as you can see, this is more of an ivory color. On our website, you can obviously find a white color as well. That'd be perfect for any weddings. Moving on to polyester satin fabrics. They can look and feel very luxurious as well. A case in point is the Asia satin fabric in pastel pink. This looks so elegant and definitely suitable for evening gowns. You can see a very subtle weave line going diagonally all over this fabric which looks so elegant and sophisticated and it reflects off this beautiful sheen against the light. I think it makes a beautiful blouse that can take you from a day in the office to a nice dinner date in the evening such as this blouse on Vogue sewing pattern number 1726. This fabric is available in many other colors too. So far, all the satin fabrics we looked at don't stretch. This next one though is a great option if you're looking for something stretchy. This is the Armani stretch satin fabric. For a designer fabric, this is truly a bargain. For um, a really high quality and, and soft fabric, I highly recommend you looking into it, especially if you're looking for something stretchy as well. This line offers uh, a number of colors in the polka dot prints. There are also lots of other different prints as well and in different colors. So definitely a great line to look into. A pattern worth considering with this fabric is a Bella Tea Dress by Liberty London, which I will link below. Our next fabric is this green soft satin fabric. It has a high shine, really intense color, and it's very crisp. This fabric gives a good structure and body. It's less flowy or airy compared to the 100% silk fabrics or the Armani stretch satin. But I think it's a great fabric to use for contrasting decorative touch. For example, you can use it as a contrasting sleeve band on the collar or maybe a waist belt. This next fabric is one of our most affordable and lightest weight satin fabric. It's called liquid satin. The name of it, as you may be able to see, comes from its very unique shine. It's not so much of a sheen, it does have a sheen, but you can see it's more of a shimmer on the surface, very liquidy looking, which gives its name. And I do think it's quite a soft fabric as well, and it does, um, it's very smooth on the touch, despite its wonderful price point. 
It's non-stretch and drapes quite well. It is commonly used for budget bridal wear, costume, scrunchies, crafts, and so many other things. It's a really, really versatile fabric and so reasonably priced, it makes a really great choice for any projects on the budget. It's also available on a wide range of colors and it's machine washable too. Moving on to our next satin fabric category, the crepe bag satin. As the name suggests, this fabric has a shiny finish and a crepe back, which is a matte finish. You can see more clearly the difference between the two against light here. You can decide really for yourself what side is the right side for your project. The obvious choice is to choose a shinier side as a right side for more luxurious evening wear and the matte side with a crepe side for a more elegant day look. It's got a silky finish no matter which side you choose. It's really soft to the touch and it's great for draping. It stretches beautifully on the bias as well. So if you're thinking about making a bias cut garment, which is more figure flattering and hang really delicately, make sure you choose a suitable fabric such as the crepe back satin. This line comes with a variety of colors. One example is this one right here in the color bright fuchsia. This fabric has a really beautiful liquid satin-like shimmer on one side, which you can see just so beautiful against the light. This is a huge contrast to the, um, to the matte side, the crepe side, as you can see here. You can choose to, of course, you use one or the other side, or for a more dramatic effect, you can choose to use both sides on the same garment. Moving up on the range of crepe back satins, we have this nostalgic crepe back satin and this Prada satin crepe fabric. This nostalgic crepe back satin is a dream. This beautiful dressmaking fabric is so soft and the sheen is a bit more on the subtle side, but it's just so gorgeous. Look at that against the light. It just looks glorious. One thing I do want to mention about crayback satin is that um, they're usually medium weight, which is obviously you know, less see-through and can be a bit easier to, to handle than silk satin fabrics we saw earlier. This nostalgic crepe back satin is perfect, I think, for sewing into tops, skirts, and dresses. There are several dresses on the New Looks pattern number 6410 that you can check out for this fabric, which I will link below. And now, let's look at this Prada. This is a fabulous quality Prada crepe suiting fabric. It's self-satin lined with a slight one-way stretch across the width of this fabric. Let's see here. It's just a little bit of a stretch to add to that figure-hugging drape, okay? And look at the matte side. Ooh, look at how beautiful the contrast is. Once again, you can use either side for your project or you can maybe use both for a more dramatic contrasting effects. The shinier side is a lot less slippery than the other satin fabrics, partially because it's PU coated, which makes it more flexible, more lightweight, and even water resistant. It's not waterproof though, so still be very careful with it. It's also anti-static, so overall really high quality fabric for a special occasion garment. I think this fabric would be perfect. It will go really well with the elegant Rebecca Valance dress by Vogue, which I will link below.
Moving on to one of my favorite satin fabric categories, Duchess satin. I have two Duchess satins here from John Caldor. The classic line, which I have here in the color Jade, and the mystique line, which I have in the color Javen. When I first saw these two fabrics online, I was a little bit confused as to what the differences are because it may be a little bit hard to see uh, in photos alone. So let me show you. The classic, which I have here, again in color jade, is shinier. You can see more of the shimmer against the light, but its shimmer is not as pronounced as the liquid satin fabric we saw earlier. In comparison, you can see that the Mystique line has more of a sheen than a, than a shimmer, right? One more difference is that the Classic is thicker and more crisp. You can almost hear its noise, right, as I touch it. It will give more structure. The Mystique line is much more flowy, okay? However, being Duchess Satin, the Mystique still offers a lot more crisp and structure than other satin fabrics we have seen so far. Both fabrics are very elegant and lustrous. I think they're both perfect, honestly, for evening wears, bridesmaid dresses, or even more opulent lounge wears. Because these fabrics are, even though very luxurious, they are made of 100% polyester, so they're not that hard to care for. With pure silk satin, you almost, you have to actually um, go for dry clean only. But with these, because they're made of polyester, you can machine wash them as well, um, actually in cold water. A project idea for either one of them is an elegant blouse, such as this one right here. There is a huge range of colors for Duchess satins on our website, so I'm sure you'll find one that you love. Back to lightweight categories, let's look at charmeuse. We have a wide range of beautiful charmeuse silky satin fabrics to show you today. Even though they are made of polyester as opposed to 100% silk, but they're still just gorgeous on the look and feel. And they're available on a wide range of colors and prints. Let me show you this one first. A classic royal blue color. Beautiful sheen against the light. You can use it for a flowy garment, of course, or use it as a delicate lining or for lingerie. There are so many colors to choose from online as well. A little sewing tip is that charmeuse is very soft and slippery. So you may need to pay extra attention when sewing and use a sharp dressmaker's pin with a smooth taper so you don't make big holes when pinning your fabric pieces together. This next one here comes with a nice dark navy blue backdrop and on it we see this beautiful pastel pink and blue floral motifs. I love the color combination. I think it's so versatile. I can see it going beautifully onto a summer dress or a romper, like the ones from this simplicity pattern. This next one just takes my breath away. It's so delicate and so romantic. It literally gives me goosebumps how soft and beautiful it looks and feels. I think you need to take this one on a romantic date. It's so beautiful as is. Maybe make it into a flowy blouse, a scarf, or a simple cami like this one from True Bias with a lovely V-neck. Now let's look at some Shermu silky satin fabrics from John Caldor. We have three satin fabrics here with very different styles in prints. This first one has that tropical 
bold print, yet once again so elegant. Honestly, I think it's hard not to look elegant wearing silk or charmeau satin fabric. I love the color combinations here. Pastel pink, blue and green on the mink backdrop. It's so easy on the eye, but the bold tropical leaves definitely give that extra edge to this print. And look at that sheen. Look at that mink hue against the light here, just so beautiful. This next fabric we have here screams passion to me. It is pure fire. I love the abstract floral motif and look at the black, white and red color contrast. It's both simple and so sophisticated. I think this fabric will go really well with all the dresses from this simplicity pattern. So far, the Charmeuse silky satin fabrics we have seen are all non-stretch. These two in front of me are both stretchy. They are made of polyester as well, with a little bit of spandex or elastic added to them. The purple one here has a really high shine, as you can see here. Look at the shimmer and the intensity of the color. With this one, you are definitely going for something bold. Maybe a statement piece or even a costume, I think. And if you want a more subdued look, there are many other colors to choose from online as well. This other stretchy charmeuse fabric we have here is in this color called Steel Blue. As you can see, it's really sophisticated. It has a beautiful sheen. It doesn't have the, the kind of shine from the previous fabric. I'll bring that in so you can see the comparison here. But it's so beautiful and sophisticated. It's still got a beautiful shimmer. I think it would be really nice to make it into a loungewear, actually. It's very soft to the touch. Maybe a nice kimono robe, or you can also make it into an opulent day wear, a nice blouse or dress. Moving on to our last category, the interesting and unique satin fabrics. Within this category, I want to first of all introduce you to John Caldor's Santa Cruz fabric line. Santa Cruz is a woven polyester satin fabric with a small amount of stretch across its width, which provides some give for wearing comfort, but it's not going to give too much extension. Just look at this gorgeous white flowers against this golden background and how the light shine on it and it reflects off the light so beautifully. I think it's just so regal. And the details in the flower prints, all the petals in different shades is just absolutely breathtaking. I also want to point out that this fabric is so soft and smooth to the touch, but it's still not very slippery at all, which I think makes it so much easier to handle on the sewing machine. And this one right here, another passionate print. The color contrast here just screams drama. I think it would be so lovely to make it into a beautiful robe a dress or a longer skirt because you really want to see the big bulk print in full glory. The material will drape really well and it does hold its shape. So you can definitely go for a more structured style. I personally would love to use this fabric to make a wrap dress like this Calvin wrap dress by True Bias. We have four other really interesting and unique satin fabrics here. This one is a bubble satin fabric. As the name suggests, it has a really cool, fun bubble texture. So it definitely adds more interest and is perfect for a more casual, everyday look. Sometimes we can all take a break from looking 
opulent without leaving our beloved satin fabric. Despite having a little bit more casual look to it, this bubble fabric still has that beautiful sheen against the light. And I do love this warm, glowy color. The next fabric we have here is the Velvet Touch Satin Fabric in the color Terracotta. As you can see, it has a very special crushed velvet look. And it has this golden sheen, this golden sparkle just reflecting off the light. It's super soft to the touch, yet it's a lot less slippery than most of the satin fabrics we have seen today. So it should be a little bit easier to handle on the sewing machine. This beautiful earthy color is just glowing. I love it. It's a lovely drape as well. I think it's ideal for dresses and skirts such as this Adriana dress by the Friday Pattern Company. Moving on to our next fabric, the Cuddle Matte Satin. I just love this name. Most of us probably don't associate the words matte and satin very often, but this fabric is a really unique one. It's a very lustrous, soft material made from 85% polyester and 15% cotton fibers. It has a super soft finish. And because of the blend of fibers, this material offers the same outstanding durability and wrinkle resistance characteristic of polycotton fabric. In terms of project ideas, actually, I would love to suggest the Calvin Wrap Dress by True Bias once again. But this time, we're going for a more everyday comfy chic look. The last fabric we're going to look at today is a really fun and creative one. The sequin satin fabric. This fabric is actually a type of liquid satin fabric, as we saw earlier. But as you can see here, it has a decorative scattering of hologram sequins all over the surface. The sequins catch the light incredibly and make this fabric the perfect choice for costumes and theatrical stage work. It's 100% polyester, non-stretch, it drapes very well, and it does come in a range of colors. It's really reasonably priced, so it makes a great choice for projects on a budget. One thing to note, however, is that the sequins may fall off this fabric as they're only lightly bonded. I hope you enjoyed learning about some of the satin fabrics we offer at Minerva. We would love to hear from you and what your favorite satin fabrics are. So feel free to leave a comment below. Also, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below as well. If you haven't already, I strongly encourage you to create a free account on Minerva.com, which allows you to save products mentioned in this video, as well as any other products that you may find and like from our website. When you do create a free account, we will send you a, a discount code for you to use off of your next order. In addition, you can also join the Minerva Club, which gives you 10% off of all orders for 12 months. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.